Hey, what is going on guys? Tobin Shore here of Heroes Financial Group. I'm here to educate you and empower you to take control of your finances. Now, if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, if you could please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I just want to thank you in advance for giving this video a like as well. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the 4% rule when it comes to your finances. All right. I want to talk about what it is, where it came from, and why, in my opinion, it is absolute garbage. All right. Let's get into it. Now, the 4% rule. Why is this something that I want to talk about? Why should this be something that you talk about with your financial advisor, with your spouse, whoever? All right. Why do you need to learn about it? Yeah, the 4% rule has to do with retirement right? and when you're taking money out of the retirement fund. Okay, and one of the things that I do is that I help people prepare for a totally secure retirement that's going to be beyond comfortable of what the traditional financial advisors can actually provide for you, right? So that you don't have to downgrade your quality of life just so you can survive and so you can actually thrive in your golden years when you're retired. So something that a lot of people don't realize, right, and a lot of financial advisors aren't going to disclose or maybe they're not aware of it themselves or, you know, they don't want to tell you, right, is that at retirement planning is very much different from for retirement planning, right? A lot of people tend to end up just leaving their money in their 401k or their IRA, right, um, and these advisors and wealth managers love that. Why? Because, hey, they're going to continue to collect fees, right? Whether or not you are winning and gaining or you are losing. So they're going to continue to take that money, their cut from the money that they're managing for you, right, in these accounts. Now, when it comes to the rate of return that you can get in your 401k or IRA, at best when there's little to no emotion um, attached to it, right at best they've seen that hey you can actually get nine percent rate of return but now after taxes what are you actually netting six percent however in all actuality over the past 24 years the s&p 500 has actually done less than six percent right now what does that mean for net now you're netting somewhere around four percent but that's not actually where the 4% rule comes from. So what do we as humans attach to our money, investments, or retirement funds? All that emotion that I just mentioned, right? So when we have the emotion attached to it and it comes crashing down, what do we tend to do on average? Get out, right? Sell at a loss. And then when you see that starts to pick back up again, uh, and then people will tend to come back in at highs so what you actually see is that the average american retiree has a return of about three and a half percent so that's actually where that four percent comes from now traditional financial advisors advise that hey if you take out four percent and no more you know you're you're going to continue to have your retirement fund and not run out of it but what are you actually coming out with every month, right? Because, hey, if you, have, if you have a strict budget and, you know, you, you have maybe Social Security, maybe you have another pension from whatever job role that you're retiring from, right? And now you, you come and lower your, your living, your lifestyle, <laughs> right, which... I mean, let's be honest, a lot of us really don't want to do that, All right? But if you do and you cut down to a $3,000 a month budget, right, what's that per year? 36 grand, right? What do you actually need to pull out in order to net 36? So it'd be $50,000 per year, right? In order to net $3,000 a month. All right, for one, you don't want to, rely on social security because if you're my age or if you're in your 40s or even in your 50s you're probably not going to have that right um because it's running out right it's running out and in order for that to continue to be funded you know they're probably going to have to raise i mean they will have to raise social security tax right 
So don't rely on that. Um, and then, so you want to have 36 grand a year to net, okay? 50,000, right? So back to that. If you have 50,000, what is $50,000, right? What is that 4% of? It's not a million. It's 1.25 million, right? 50,000 is 4% of 1.25 million. So you actually need that in order to only have and live off of $36,000 per year. That's pretty low, right? I think you'd agree with that. That's not a great amount to retire on, right? Especially when you're older because really you may think that your expenses are going to be less, but in reality, they're probably going to be higher because what's more likely to happen in your older age, right? You're more likely to get sick. You're more likely to have have injuries, right? You're like more likely to more, be more easily injured and have to go to hospital and pay more for health care, right? So a lot of times that 36 grand isn't going to really do much for you. Now, you shouldn't have to settle for something like this, right? Why would you want to sell for 4%, you know, just to net $36,000 a year, <laughs> right? It's not great, okay? Now, you soon realize that, hey, Wall Street was not meant to pay out to you. Wall Street was meant to pay out for the people in Wall Street, Okay, because when you ever ask, whenever you ask a financial advisor, hey, when is the best time to sell? They're going to tell you no. You never, right? It's never a good time to sell. You want to hold it and keep it, keep your money in there, keep your money in, in the market. And why is that? Because they're going to keep collecting fees from you, whether they win, you win or lose, right? And then who else wants their money? Uncle Sam, right? The government. So, of course, they want you to keep your money in the 401k and IRA, right? That way they can get their cut as well. So, you really don't have a predictable retirement when it comes to a 401k or IRA. It's, it's, it's really hard for you to retire off of that, right? Now, what else can you do, right? What is something better where you can actually maybe take out 4% and still net that $50,000, Right? What if you had something where you could actually net a hundred thousand dollars, take out eight percent, and actually have a hundred thousand dollars because you're able to access that tax free? Or even better, ten percent? How much better is eight or ten percent than four percent? I think you'd agree it's a whole lot better, right? Now, what is actually my favorite retirement vehicle and what do I suggest and help people with? I help people with something known as the life insurance retirement plan. Or the laser fund, which is coined by Doug Andrew, otherwise known as a max funded index universal life insurance policy. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is too good to be true. A lot of people would think that way. The majority of Americans would think that way. Why? Because you've probably never heard of or seen something like this before, right? Well, if you've never heard of or seen a duck, does that mean that ducks don't exist? Or a dog, a cat, a flower, the sun and the moon? If you've never seen it, hey, it must not be a real thing, right? But again, the problem is that, hey, not a lot of people are being informed, being educated on this type of stuff. But when you think about it, right, what do the top 10% of wealthiest Americans know that the average Americans like us don't know, right? What do they have? that we don't have, how are they able to pass on generational wealth generation after generation, right? How are these people able to start these businesses, make these purchases, whatever the case may be, and retire comfortably? And no, it wasn't because they all put their money in freaking Bitcoin, right? Sure, some people, yeah, they got lucky. But hey, teach their own. All right, so what do these wealthy families know and use. 
when I was doing my research, when I was doing my education, learning about all this stuff, it all pointed to one thing, life insurance, right? These families have been using life insurance, cash value life insurance for generation after generation after generation to continue to fund their own bank and pass on generational wealth. So I hope you guys found this information helpful and learned something from this video. If you guys have any questions or any topics that you guys want me to cover or emphasize more on, just uh, make sure you guys put that in the comments below, right? Let me know your thoughts about the 4% rule and what I presented to you guys and, and, and showed you guys, right? If you guys want to reach me and get a free consultation, feel free to do so at any of my social media links in the description. You can also send me an email. That should also be in the description, tobin.short at heroesfinancialgroup.com. Don't forget to check out the website as well, right? Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, make sure you guys share with your friends and family and anyone else that this information can be helpful to and beneficial to, right? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.